here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. 
Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! It permits me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla. Known also as Caladetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. He got to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. And made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention as he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven, what's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess, attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuben, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. A rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Damn it. Hope Dandelion gets out of this alive. And in one piece. Know what they do to bards? Break their fingers, or tear out their tongues. Or both. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well... Bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Bobby to see. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home in his own. What's he doing here? Anybody there? Open up.
What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You made this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hey, Whitehead! Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't <laughs> blush. Oh, they ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body back. He's spending the horse. Clearly, you're not going to move it. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuben, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Ruven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain.
Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zerakania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aimed to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out your fucking minds. A chat session. Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse sons' hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on that. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think we will find Orson. He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. 
Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the pits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Orson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. I'll figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah, might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Not again! Bart. Bart, stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart hurt! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! But sadly. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. 
Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. I see that door. Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king. No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head full. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... This like... I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bart, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. 
Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've no to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you got yourself into? Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he might be out of there too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy.
to. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened. Meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. 
Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the breaking. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you!
Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my boucheroirs, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. It doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time, but only because his honor the Margrave might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Manga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Bontar. But you know what they say, old love never dies. First, first love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, love birds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what I say to Deekstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Deekstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. <laughs>